Welcome back to Tough Love Fishing, everybody. I'm Jonah. Wow, it's beautiful out today. The sky. We need some new lures, especially him. We need to go to the store and get some new lures. It's that time, Jonah. Join we need, us. We need to be properly equipped to tackle the challenge of luring fish and catching them. It's important. It's important. It's important, it's important to hone your craft. craft. We came all the way here and now we need a cart. I, I need to find a cart. Do they have carts hidden behind the aisles? Hidden? Okay. Yeah, like maybe there's a cart down there. Maybe. I'll go look. Right, you go ahead and talk. Well, we made it to Dick's. All the variety. Hey, got a cart. Found it. It was, right, it was hidden. I think we should go bold. I'm gonna get my standard black with silver. This is my go-to. I'm gonna get this guy. I like this one. But I don't know. No, I'm not. What are these? One eighth? They're one eighth. Yeah. Is that a good size? It is a good size. It's pretty versatile. The water can't be flowing too hard though. Yes. Good. That was a that was a good gut call right there. Is it the one I already chose? No, it's very similar. Oh, it is the same. Oh my God, it's the same one. See, when we use our oh guts, my... we have the same gut. The same gut. Now look, let's make sure, all right, so you have three one eighth ounce. The problem is that you're always having is you're not getting down deep enough. You need to go deeper, right? You're always hovering at the top and that's fine or whatever, but sometimes you gotta get down, especially in colder weather, to where the fish are, right? So get it together, use your head, pick one more out, all right, come on. That's a big boy. I feel like that was a good choice. So what goes down and deep? That's what she said. So we're in the colder months, obviously, but come summer, I want to be using this, like frogs and spiders. I really want to use a spider, you know, on the lily pads. Does it get you excited to think about that? It makes my rod stiff. <laughs> no, it makes my rod bend. When there's a fish on the other end. All right, Jonah, I need to pick out one more spinner, all right? Use your gut. Now besides spinners, Tough Love Fishing is big fans of grubs. We use grubs of all different kinds of colors. They're just, they work multi-species fishing. It's a multi-species. It's a multi-species lure. It will catch any type of fish, really. Any the, type? Uh, the grubs, they, they just work on so many different types of fish. Trout, bass. Sunnies, whatever, whatever's biting crappies. Crappies love them. Fish, fish love, love them. them. I have the lipless crankbaits that I'm. I, yeah. I was look. I was. I didn't really see any smaller ones here. Yeah. Don't I, have too many of them. I was we're looking not, for the lipless crankbaits. We're just not getting our stuff sent to us. That's a shame. This is what I'm getting. Have the, have same the same gut, gut. the same, same gut. gut. I 
got it stuck in a tree and then when I pulled it, it freaking spun off the tree and then landed on the river and then floated down the river. That was sucky, so I'm feeling like I need to give this one a second try. You know, it's funny, like, how, how, uh, even tiny fish, oh, oh, let me get myself together here, oh, how even small fish will hit bigger lures, I would bite this, I would so freaking eat this thing, mm, mm, mm. Sorry. Stop following me. All right, you can go on your own. All right, you're like literally ho hovering over my back. All right, it's like I'm your freaking fishing sensei. We didn't see these hooks before. They were hidden. They were hidden. One of my faves. One of my faves. Ned Rakes. Mm. Ned Rake. Ned Rakes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, we gotta get a couple of those. This is. I need pliers. And this is my final purchase. How much is that? Twelve. Oh really? Yeah. Or thirteen. Thirteen dollars. Since I. Lost the other ones. Uh, we're gonna continue to look. I don't, I don't know. I want ones that you can cut your line. Right, well then, Does this cut your line? Uh, right there, I guess. But I don't know. That looks a little dicey. Never mind. Never mind. Hold on. We'll get good ones. No, it's, it might be fine. I just not sure if that cuts the line or not. I mean, you could always cut the line for me, so it's not like it's a big deal. Uh, yeah, that's the story of my life. Constantly cutting the line for you and unhooking the fish. Constantly unhooking fish for you. It's time you man up and start getting them unhooked yourself and get yourself a pair of pliers, which you already had, and then you lost them because you snip them, you, you clip them to your freaking windbreakers. What kind of moron clips something to windbreakers as if windbreakers is some type of sturdy material? It probably, he probably lost in the first five minutes that he had it clipped on there. He's a moron, people. I'm dealing with a full-blown moron. <laughs> oh snap get up get out of my way this one's mine this one's mine this one that one's yours that's yours that one's mine that, that one's, one's yours. mine this is this mine. One's mine. This one's mine. This one's mine. This one's mine. That one's mine. This is mine. That's mine. This is mine. This is mine. This one's mine. This one's yours. Yes. This one's mine. That one's yours. No, this one's yours. This one's mine. No. I remember picking this yes, one. Yes, you also grabbed this one, too. Those were the first two that you grabbed, you moron. 
Remember this one, the black this one is yours. No, this one's yours. Is oh, it blue? Oh wait, yeah. No, no wait, I got it. I got it. All right, and this one's yours. We both grabbed the same one, remember? Of that one? Yeah. All right, so. So this is all that I got. This is Jonah's pile. Successful day. This sums it up. Everything we got out on this table. This is a beautiful sight. Stay tuned, people. Thank you. Smash the like. Smash that like, and we'll see you on the other side of the river.